Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Bonjour. Hello, Ani. Mike Schreiner, it is so great to have you back up here in Perry Sound, Muskoka. And when we consider how blessed we are and how grateful we are with surroundings like this right here in Huntsville, we, we start our day by, by acknowledging the land that we are on here in Huntsville, that this is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabeg, in particular the Ojibwe, the Chippewa, and the Algonquin peoples. We are forever grateful for the wisdom and guidance that the Indigenous cultures have provided for us here in our community, our province, and our country as a whole. And on a day like today, we know that we're in the month of May, but as, our indigenous, as the Indigenous cultures say, that we are right now in Flower Moon, which is a very timely way of acknowledging the wonders of the nature that we have. And for that, we are grateful. Uh, here in Perry Sound, Muskoka, we are seeing a tremendous surge for a better way of doing politics. You know, whether that be about how we do our health care, how we find new ways of getting affordable housing, how we tackle the climate crisis, and especially how we, on today's particular note, how we support local businesses. And when people are looking for honesty and integrity and real solutions, I am so proud of what the Green Party provides. We are in a time here where the momentum has never been stronger. And here in our riding, to have the support of Mike Schreiner, to get us through to being the second riding in Ontario's history to go green, I am so thrilled and pleased to have Mike Schreiner to share our small business strategy as to how we're going to make our communities thrive into the future. Mike Schreiner, thank you. Thank you, Matt. Uh, it is so wonderful to be back in Perry Sound, Muskoka today, in Huntsville in particular, because the momentum that is building for the Ontario Green Party across the province, but especially in Perry Sound, Muskoka, is exciting and inspiring. People here want new solutions to old problems. They want a new and better way of doing politics. And the Ontario Greens are offering that, providing the leadership to do politics differently, to do politics better, and to put people first. And today I'd like to announce our seven point plan to support Perry Sound Muskoka. And it begins by expanding healthcare capacity in this riding and across our province by investing in the people who deliver the care that we need, by expanding primary health care options in this riding, especially through the expansion of nurse practitioner-led clinics, and revising the funding formula for rural hospitals to ensure that rural communities have the hospital capacity they need and deserve. Secondly, addressing the housing affordability crisis in a way that helps first-time home buyers be on a level playing field with grants of up to $25,000 to add a secondary suite, a basement apartment, a laneway house to provide additional rental supply to address the demand for more affordable rental spaces and to create new revenue streams to help first time home buyers be able to afford the home they love in the community they love. Third, is our Main Street plan to support local businesses in this riding by bringing in a Commercial Tenancies Act to protect small businesses, by expanding the digital Main Street program to provide fulfillment opportunities for local businesses so they can compete on a more level playing field with the big box stores and the Amazons of the world. Never again, never again, should the provincial government close small businesses while leaving big box stores open. The Ontario Greens are committed to standing up and supporting the small businesses that are so vital to our local economies in the vibrancy and vitalities 
of our main streets and our downtowns across Perry Sound, Muskoka. Fourth, affordable transit. By cutting transit fares in half and fully funding the reinstatement of the Ontario Northlander, including a $12 million annual operating subsidy and expanding bus service between communities in this riding. We want to ensure that people who come to visit and spend money and support local businesses in Perry Sound Muskoka have train service available to them. And we want to ensure that people traveling between communities in this riding have the bus service they need to be able to do it affordably and reliably. Fifth, lowering people's utility bills by maintaining electricity subsidies for rural, remote, and low-income households. And by investing in a home retrofit program to help people save money by saving energy and creating good green jobs right here in Perry Sound, Muskoka. Next, flood protection. Ensuring that we protect the nature that protects us. How many floods do we have to experience right here in Muskoka? Or how many quote, once in a lifetime storms do we have to go through before we have a government that makes the investments in protecting the nature that protects us? And that's exactly what the Ontario Greens will do here in Perry Sound, Muskoka because we know that the wealth, the prosperity, the jobs in this riding depend on the nature that makes us such a wonderful and beautiful place to live and to visit. And finally, a government that is committed to supporting rural education and youth mental health. The Ontario Greens are committed to revising the funding formula for public education to ensure that rural schools have the resources and supports needed, especially when it comes to serving children with special needs, ensuring that we have educational assistance, special education uh, teachers, and the supports to keep rural schools open, and to ensure that young people have access to the mental health supports they need and deserve with a fully funded, costed commitment to reducing wait times for youth mental health to less than 30 days. Right now, it is unacceptable that the average wait time for young people to access mental health services is 18 months, and sometimes as long as two years, especially after the last two years of the pandemic. Our young people deserve access to the care they need when they need it in the community they live. The Ontario Greens are offering new solutions to old problems here in Perry Sound, Muskoka. We're building on the momentum and the excitement on Matt Richter's campaign, especially coming out of the leaders debate last week where so many people in this riding had the first opportunity to see what Ontario Greens are offering, the new solutions to old problems, the new way of doing politics, a party focused on positive solutions to build our communities up, to create caring, connected, affordable, and climate ready communities. And so I'm here and excited to be back on the campaign trail, supporting our fantastic candidates across the province and building on the fantastic and exciting momentum that Matt Richter has in Perry Sound, Muskoka, and the opportunity for the people of this riding to make history and elect Ontario's second Green MPP. I'm now available to take questions. We can take questions on the ground. Hi, morning, Mike. Morning. Um, besides the fact that the Liberals don't have a candidate anymore in Perry Sound, Muskoka, why do you think your party and your candidate is, are so competitive here? What's the difference here from, from another writing? Well, I think one thing people who live in Perry Sound, Muskoka, and work here recognize 
that the foundation of so much of the wealth and the quality of life and the reason people want to live here and work here and visit here is the natural beauty of this place. And we need a government that's going to protect that and defend that and ensure that the nature that protects us is protected and the nature that generates so much wealth and is the basis of the quality of life here in Perry Sound, Muskoka is protected and defended. And that's exactly what the Ontario Greens are offering. And we know that Matt Richter in the 2018 election finished actually slightly better than I did in the 2014 election in Guelph. And we know what happened in Guelph in 2018. And we believe we're well positioned for that to happen in Perry Sound, Muskoka in 2022. Um, and then why do you think the um, climate crisis has not been a top election issue so far? So far? And do you think that with the severe storms we experienced over the last weekend, uh, it could become one? And if so, do you think it could give momentum to your party? Well, I mean, first of all, the Ontario Greens are really the only party that's been talking about the climate emergency in this election campaign. I was pretty much the only leader to talk about the climate crisis in the leaders' debate until everyone was asked a direct question. The Ontario Greens are putting forward solutions to crush climate pollution while at the same time addressing people's real concerns about the rising cost of living and ensuring that we set Ontario's economy up to be successful in the fastest growing emerging markets around the world, which is those in the new climate economy. 65 million jobs will be created in the next decade in low carbon industries, goods and services. The question is, will Ontario lead that? Generating new career and better job opportunities and prosperity for the province or not? And we need a government that puts forward the solutions the Ontario Greens are putting forward to set us up for success, to protect the nature that protects us, and to ensure that we address and do our part to address the climate crisis. There are no more questions on the ground. We can go to Zoom now, please. Thanks, Jess. We'll go to any Zoom questions now. If you have a question, Please raise your hand via Zoom. First up, we have Colin DeMello. Colin, please unmute yourself and go ahead. Hey, good morning, Mike. Uh, morning, I wonder Colin. what you guys are seeing in terms of some of the early voter turnout numbers. I know a lot of campaigns uh, get that data from Elections Ontario. Are you seeing any kind of uptick in the early voter data, or are you able to get some of those green supporters in uh, Perry Sound, Muskoka to the polls? Are you seeing encouraging signs? Absolutely, Colin. We're seeing encouraging signs in terms of uh, the number of Green supporters who have already voted in advance polls. We're also seeing very exciting and encouraging signs uh, in our poll numbers. Uh, but I would say most importantly, we're seeing it in the number of volunteers who are coming out to knock on doors, put up signs and make phone calls. Green campaigns are won through people power change. And the excitement, especially the number of volunteers coming out to support Matt Richter's campaign has us very excited. And we're just gonna to continue to keep building on that momentum in the last week of this campaign. Okay, thank you. And, and you know, taking a step back, you're obviously trying to grow your party beyond the single seat. What, what would it mean at large for the entire Green Party movement in, in Ontario if you were to double your seat count? Um, how, how big of a, of an improvement would that be? And, and what would it actually mean to growing the party beyond this election? Well, it would be a huge opportunity to really uh, grow the green movement and to send a clear message that we need urgent climate action that addresses cost of living concerns and sets our economy up for success. We've seen in other provinces, I especially look to PEI, New Brunswick and British Columbia, that electing that first green and then electing the second green has in the case of PEI led to the greens being in official opposition now. And in British Columbia, three green MLAs held the balance of power in a minority government. And so we have shown how effective we can be at Queens Park with one green MPP. We know we can be even more effective with two or three green MPPs 
and we want to use that influence to improve people's lives, address the housing affordability crisis, address the climate emergency, and ensure we make the investments we need to strengthen and expand health care capacity in the province, especially when it comes to delivering better, better mental health care for people. Thanks, Colin. Anything else? Okay, we'll go on to the next question from Lorenda Redekop from CBC. Lorenda, go ahead. Sure. Hi, Mike. Hi. Um, in that race, you and Matt have both talked about it as essentially a two-party race. So how do you win over PC voters? Yeah, I think our, our plan, especially to support small businesses, has been getting a lot of positive feedback from voters in this riding. I mean, this riding relies on so many small businesses, and um, they appreciate the fact that the Ontario Greens consistently throughout the pandemic was standing up for small businesses and will continue to put forward new solutions to support small businesses. You know, another one I'd add uh, to what I've already said this morning is a plan to liberate local beer, wine, and spirits to allow for the opening of boutique BQA wine stores, craft beer stores, and artisan uh, distillery outlets. Um, because we know there's so many, especially when it comes to uh, craft beer in this riding, uh, that want to succeed and create jobs and bolster the economy here. Secondly, uh, I think there are a number of voters, not just conservative voters, but I'd say voters across the political spectrum who are just looking for honesty and authenticity in politics, less negativity and more positivity about how we build this province up and get things done for people rather than tear down the other parties. So, you know, while the other three parties, you know, throw negative ads at each other and at us, we're just putting forward new solutions to old problems and giving Ontarians an opportunity to vote for a better way of doing politics. And as a follow up, sort of a broad uh, impact of COVID question, uh, I see you're wearing a mask outside. Um, what was that time home with COVID like? Do you feel like you have a lot of ground to make up in this campaign now? You know what? We kept building on our momentum. Um, I just want to give a shout out to our team. Uh, we had contingencies in place in case something like this happened. We had a full media studio set up in my living room in Guelph, and I was able just to continue to keep campaigning. We did media announcements every day. I did a number of virtual events, a lot of live Ask Mike Anything uh, online events that had uh, tremendous and significant engagement. And I also used it as an opportunity to make a lot of phone calls. <laughs> I've made a lot of phone calls over the last uh, you know, six or seven days. And so we're just continuing to build on the campaign that we have. And I'm excited to be back uh, in in-person campaigning right now, obviously starting here in Perry Sound, Muskoka this morning. Uh, and I'll continue to, you know, move forward in a cautious way because I always want to prioritize people's health and safety. Thank you. Anything else from the Zoom line? Okay. That looks like everything for now. Great. Well, I just want to thank everyone for joining us this morning. And I just want to say to the voters of Perry Sound, Muskoka, you can vote for a better future for this riding and for this province and send a clear message that we can do politics better in Ontario by electing Matt Richter as your MPP for Perry Sound Muskoka. Thank you everyone and have a fantastic day.